talking to the mayor, the town was devastated. A lot of their neighborhoods were six to eight feet of water. They do not have basements, so the entire first floors have been gutted, pushed out into the front yard, and the city is hauling that away. A lot of people needed to be rescued from the second floor, and they had a lot of people came out of Louisiana with bass boats, they called them the Cajun Navy, and they came and they rescued people from the second floor to get them out of their home to safety. What they're doing now is working with FEMA, trying to get short-term reimbursement to get those people cleaned up and back in their homes. The vehicles, they have, uh, I'll mention private estate farm. There's a temporary office set up where people can come and do your claims. Everything is expedited. They'll get you a rental car. Their criteria is if it reaches the floorboards, it's total, scrap title, and they will replace it. So all that's going on with FEMA, the Red Cross is providing about 3,000 meals a week. And those are all the people that have been displaced. Most are put up in local hotels and they're living there temporarily until they can get back into their homes. Totally devastated. They have a river that runs through similar to us. It was surcharged obviously with all the rains and the town, a lot of the neighborhoods were six to eight feet of water. So anyhow, they're digging out. They're very grateful for what we have done for them. The second truck, actually, we left with them. We're trusting the mayor to get that unloaded and back to the Penske, because it's in my name. And, um, so we're hoping that all happens safely. But anyhow, they're very grateful for what we've done. My favorite part, I'll tell you, were the children here in Falls and Woodridge districts did drawings from kindergarten through fifth grade and those were delivered to the elementary school there to be distributed to all those grade schools in their district. And that was probably the best part is seeing what our children in Cauga Falls did just to pour their heart and soul out to, to, well, to wish well all the children down there because it's been very hard on them. So overall, it was a good experience that they're getting things they need pretty quickly, working with FEMA, Red Cross, local volunteers, faith-based, they're all coming together. So they're doing well, and they're very grateful for what we provided to them.